All right, guys, we're back. It's the next day and the prints are done right here on the Lisa Pro. So we are going to take them out of the printer, take them onto the powder handling station, remove them from the powder cake, and then take them into the sandblaster to get them ready for the final use. So uh, with that said, let's dive right in. Now, the printer is normally facing the other direction. So I'm actually going to just hit the remove print button and then unlock the lid. And it's already all cooled down for a couple hours. So when I unlock the lid, I just push down and pull up and spread the IO box in the correct orientation. Make sure there's a free area. I will help you with that. Remember IO box, if, if you can read printout, it means that you are in the good position. So you put IO box here in the printout position. You can read printout, which means that it's, it's good. So, so let's do it. Awesome, all right, so I'm gonna hit the button next. And, oh yeah, here it comes. Now the print cake will rise. Perfect, so, so I'm button. just gonna slide this in. Yep. Boom, like that. Lift it slowly. Lift, Lift it slowly. slowly. Let it, and put it here. I'm just gonna put it right over here onto the powder handling station. And then come back over here and hit done. Yes. All right. We are in the situation, thanks to the powder handling station, you can re extract the parts. Uh, sieve the powder, refresh the powder, and also you can clean the printer. So first is to extract the parts okay. from the print kit. Perfect. So, so to do we that, we're just gonna hit the on button over here. Yeah, but first you need to check if the ah. safety button is on. <laughs> That's I it, tested you. very important. And then we're good, we can hit on. Turns everything on, got nice lights. Yeah. And, and now then... you can choose either the powdering and the re extracting the parts or sandblasting. So if you choose the powdering, the, the device asks you to check if the hose is connected. It is. So you confirm if it is connected. And then the another thing is to check the powder container if it's full or not. We are 100% we sure that it's empty. So we checked it before. So it's empty. So close it. And now everything started, which means that vacuum creates a suction. Uh, powder collecting system starts to work and you are able to start extract the parts. Perfect. Just open, spread it out. All right, so we're just going to take this and uh, just open it up. Should I just dump it out? Yeah, like extract it. it and hold it into the container bag, into the drawer. All right. I will. Thank you. Now just squeeze the powder down like this. I always do something oh, like yeah. that. Oh yeah, it's definitely still warm. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Remember that you have, uh, here you have the powder collection zone and here you have find the powdering zone, which means that there is a, a little bit of suction here. So the powder doesn't get spread away. All right, yeah, so there we go. So. Okay, so I've got my parts and I'll just put them over here as I find them turbines all right and the rest of this can sort of just be uh, put down into here because all this powder is actually going to get reused and refreshed with new fresh powder so you want to get all that and you get more more for your money all right so now, now that we've got can, these yes now we have these waiting just hold on okay. it's a great moment to collect the powder from the printer Perfect. well the, pr the powder handling station will detect if you are in the powder collecting mode or if you are in the cleaning of the printer mode. Okay. So if you grab a hole uh, up, it will start, It will turn on the sieving and start suction key. All right. And you can use one of our tools to do that. All right. Sweet. And now collect the powder. Oh yeah, look at that. You just yeah. wash it all up. All right. You can easily collect all the powder. Why the powder, powder is collected, the printer tells you to add half a liter of fresh powder to refresh the whole mixture. All right, the hand of day appears once again. By the way, if you call up Fisher Miner, there's a good chance this guy or one of our other technicians is gonna answer the phone. And we're always here to help you out with these systems, with the 3D scanners and the other 3D printers we sell at fisherminer.com. So make sure you check it out. And thanks for watching, by the way. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Okay. 
So we've got our fresh powder and we've got our measuring device. Measuring device. So, so we have to have half a liter. Half a liter. Which is uh, around here. 500, just a little bit. Yeah, right. just a little bit. Because this is a, what, 20%? 22% refresh rate. Look at that. That means 22% of the powder that we use in the next print has to be fresh. So that's actually pretty darn good. All right, there we go. Yeah. About the very, right. very important thing is to put the powder always here. Do not put the powder here. Put the powder here to the powder collection place. And now you can use a very good tool for that. Ah. Like. Sweet. So we're just going to, what is this, a spatula or no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's way easier. So we're just scraping it all in. Now we will be a little bit of our, our Indiana Jones. Okay. So, which means that we need to uh, clean the uh, parts from the, from the powder. Check that out. All right. Uh, I got my parts over here and I'm just gonna start basically sandblasting out these parts, right? So I'm gonna start with the gun, which is a little more powerful. A little bit bigger nozzle on there. Just spraying everything out. Oh yeah, that really gets the job done. Oh, this is, oh, look at that, it's spinning. Oh, that is super cool. And you can see the finish is changing slightly too as I blast it, so interesting. Oh, this is great. The first parts printed in the Vision Miner office on the Lisa Pro. Now the Lisa X, we're gonna have all sorts of videos on, and it's basically way faster, bigger build volume. And there's a lot of different things with the software and the technology using a Galvo laser system, that you can actually get away with a lot more in the way that you stack parts and how many parts you can do and the angles you can put parts at. So that'll be something we'll have a lot of content on very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you want more content like this, leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you wanna see. You wanna see sandblasting, part orientation, software videos, uh, depowdering stuff, you want us to print some parts, post a link to a link to some sort of SDL in the comments and maybe we'll print your part in a couple weeks. All right, so what's next? Well, the printer itself is ready for the next printing, so we can close it. Uh, and now we need to clean the table and also need to sieve the powder a little bit more. All right, sounds good. And then we'll start that. It's all right down in here, guys. So. You know, you can get the sieve separate and you can get the powder, deep powdering station and all this other stuff. This is the powder handling station. It is the best value and it gives you the best workflow out of all the different sets. And it is the center of the entire center, center ecosystem. So whether you get the Lisa, Lisa Pro, Lisa X or the Nils 480, this is the centerpiece and really what makes the center product line stand out from all the others. So I'm just gonna basically grab this, start cleaning it. Yep. All right. All right. Now there is a powder collection going on. So when you see that the powder is collected, uh, so the screwing mechanism is just collected the powder after like five minutes, you can easily go uh, with, the, with the sieving mode. And, and now the powder uh, that was collected is sieving and it will be sieving in 25 minutes. And then after, when the, when the sieving will finish, you will take this bucket out with the whole fresh and uh, uh, used powder mixed together. You put this here just to mix it again. And then when you take it out, it's ready to start a new print with. Sweet, so this is just automatic now for yeah. the next 25 minutes. Yeah. We can go grab a coffee, awesome. come back and uh, be good to go. So these are the final parts. That is super awesome. I love it. All right, well, Robert, thank you so much for your assistance today. It's been a pleasure. I'm sure we'll be talking a whole bunch more as time goes on. Uh, if you guys out there wanna know anything else about the Centurit systems, the Lisa, the Lisa X, the Nils, whatever you need, we're here all the time at visionminer.com or give us a call, 833-774-6863. Shoot us an email, we're always here to answer your questions and really we wanna help you find the right system for what you're doing in your business. Your application is very specific and you have specific needs and we understand that. So give us a call, we'll help you figure out what you need. 3D scanners, 3D printers, additive manufacturing technology. Robert, thank you so much for being here, it's been a pleasure. 
Uh, and let's go, uh, let's go eat something. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next video.